Good day, everyone. So, here's a little video I've been wanting to do basically since yesterday. Um, Facebook memories, um, this came up, and so I've had this guitar for six years as of yesterday, and I've got to admit, it's been my absolute favourite guitar since the day I got it. It's just been my absolute musical companion. It's all I can say. I just love this guitar. Out of all the guitars I've had and have uh, played, uh, this is it. So it's my Edwards FR31 130GT, I think it's called. Um, so, a couple of things. Um, I'm on this guitar about five hours a day. Um, it's had two or three fret levels, I think two, maybe three, definitely two. But the, you can't really see it too much out here, but there's like little hints of um, fret wear even up here. Um, typical fret wear over here in the chord area. Now, looking at these photos of when the guitar was brand new, the fretboard was, you know, just this nice glossy, you know, nice shiny ebony fretboard. It's now basically a satin finish, and believe me, I bloody do clean it. Um, I'm guessing it's a stain or something that I've slowly started to go through because you're getting that chocolatey sort of colour come through the fretboard. Um, tuners and everything are still stock, no worries there. Um, a couple of years ago, I did put a set of um, Shayla S locks on it. Uh, recently had to update this one because I actually wore the first one out the little horseshoe part on the back just it just wore out it was as simple as that it was actually ready to fly off the guitar that's the original one that I put on there um, then a couple of little dings like I dropped it dropped my keys on it there uh, you can just see it that little boo-boo there Annabelle my Rottweiler knocked another guitar into it couple of months ago. Um, Demasio Deactivator X neck pickup. I friggin love that pickup for leads. It's really smooth, really mid-rangey. Uh, standard JB in the bridge that it came with. It originally had a 59 in the neck. I'm not a big fan of the 59. It's too low output to me for where it doesn't balance well with the JB. And I found the 59 to always be really spiky on the top end. Uh, another thing, so original switches and that but just from doing that all the time and you know sometimes a bit of a sharp fingernail um, yeah getting a lot of scratches and stuff there and a lot of this isn't going to come through on the phone but it's there um, where my arms resting all the time it's clearly not as shiny as the rest of the guitar um, the little black screws here updated them to upgraded them to titanium stainless steel is one or the other so updated those uh, a couple of months ago I noticed I think it was around the time I was recording my song Sands of Time the guitar just sounded really dead acoustically particularly like you know the third string and I couldn't work out what the bloody hell was going on but at the same time the sat the brass saddle insert in here was completely jammed up uh, even one night basically just cracked it, blocked up the trim and was trying to pop it out with a screwdriver and it was all sorts of stuff. Um, so I ended up just giving up and um, bought a whole new set of saddles, uh, managed to salvage a couple of the saddle inserts, uh, the brass ones anyway, and then put titanium here. The idea was uh, kind of warm up the you know trebly sanding strings, the high sanding strings, and then brighten up the bassier strings. Um, and all of a sudden it was like a brand new guitar again that really really helped uh, so flip it over the only other update the guitars really had is a brass tremolo claw so I think that helps or well, makes it sound a little nicer but it's just been fantastic absolutely love it uh, it's been my best friend and best playing guitar for the past six years and like I said I spend about five hours a day on this it's just been fantastic. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. But, um, yeah, just wanted to do that. So it's something maybe I can look back on one day. Thank you.